Hello my friends, it's Krebsy here and we're gonna be playing some more War Thunder. In this episode, I thought that a good topic for today would be uh, something that you guys actually brought on upon yourselves. You guys brought it on. It's due to the last video that I made was how to get enemies off your tail. And I was showing you guys like various maneuvers you can use in planes to try to get people off your six and reverse it on them. And I knew that this would happen and I just knew it in some shape or form that people would point out that I didn't use some particular nation, some particular plane, some particular faction, whatever. And thus, it's uh, the tactics that I show you, the maneuvers are not valid. And a number of you were saying, Krebsy, the American planes, they totally suck. You cannot use these maneuvers with them. The Americans don't have any maneuverability. They don't have any speed. They don't have any turn time. They don't have any fire output. Well, rather than starting up a flame war or a heated debate or anything in the comments, I thought I'd actually just make a video and show you guys that you can still rock out with your cock out with the Americans and play really, really well with them. Uh, it's just exactly the same thing as any other nation. And I tell you what, I tell you what, why uh, people probably think the Americans suck. And I guess there's probably a, ver a variety of reasons why people think it, but the majority and probably the general reason is because maybe their damage output, you will get a lot of kill assists with, uh, their pl with the American planes. And the reason is, simply put, because they have 50 cal machine guns, whilst most other factions, well, pretty much every other faction, has 20, cal 20 millimeter cans readily available to them. Uh, there are a few exceptions in the American tree, you know, XP-55, two 20 millimeters, what else? The BTD, the F4U1C, amongst others to name, the Sabre down here, but and also the 37mm cannons on the King Cobra, the Eric Cobras. But, the, you know, generally speaking, uh, the rest of the fighters just have machine guns on them, uh, these 50 cows. And that's all they pretty much have to offer, and that's why you get a lot of kill assists, because it's not a lot of firepower. However, you can still be very successful with them as long as you land your shots. As long as you're just continually pen pelting your enemy. The nice thing about the uh, Americans is because they're using machine guns, they're not going to overheat their guns as quick as 20mm cannons. And a lot of times they have a great ammo capacity like the F4U1A over here. Awesome ammo capacity. You will you'll never have to reload with this thing, uh, for example. But anyway, we're going to be flying out with some mid-tier planes. And the reason is, is because I have a feeling most of you are going to be around this level. The majority of you guys. Uh, so, I thought it would make more sense rather than using low tiers, uh, because people would be like, Oh, but you're playing against newbies, not valid. And then I, I think there would be no point against uh, doing high tiers, because then people would be like, Oh, Krebs, I'm not even close to using those planes. So, we're in the middle ground over here. Uh, and these are the planes that we're loading out to, from tier 5 up to tier 8 with that XP-55 Ascender. Uh, and just before we get started here, I'll point out a few things. On all my planes, I'm using out stealth ammo. I've mentioned this a number of times. I'm using stealth ammo for the highest damage output. All my planes are fully upgraded. Uh, and I know people will go on too much. I know people will say, Oh, Krebsy, you're using amazing planes. Of course, when they're fully upgraded, they're going to be so much better than the stock planes. And all I have to say to that is, I agree. I simply agree. I'm not going to defend against that. Using uh, upgraded planes is much more superior than stock planes. And that's actually one of the things that irritates me in this game. The fact that you can upgrade planes so that su they're superior over other planes. I don't like that. I think everyone should have a fair playing ground. And what they should do is be able to unlock uh, certain things and that, that have pros and cons like you know you can unlock more rockets for your plane but then you're gonna weigh more that sort of thing pros and cons more firepower but less uh, maneuverability you know I, I would say that makes more sense so we're gonna try Krebsy landing right now in the XP 55 I'm just starting with high tiers and then working my way down and uh, god I'm gonna really have to bleed my speed here because uh, the thing with the XP 55 is that it has a frontal landing gear over here and it breaks very very easily it really does uh, so we're gonna have to touch down very softly there we go I'm not even kidding how fast that or how easily that uh, landing gear at the front breaks if you're too fast it just breaks off um, no question about it a uh, number of you probably have tried the Krebs landing a number of you have probably failed 
But I've actually seen a few times flying out with you guys, the fans, that you've actually impressed me by go doing the Krebs landing, and I was like, wow, well done. Uh, but th there's a few exceptions that uh, to the to the uh, maneuver, such as the XP-55, I think King Cobras, anything with that sort of weak, weak uh, frontal landing gear that breaks off very easily. Those you need to go a little bit slower in order to save yourself. Okay, so we're gonna dive on down over here. This plane is very powerful. The XP-55 has two 20mm cans in the front, but I think they're just so awesome that sometimes it feels like even more than more firepower than just simply two 20mm cannons. Uh, it's such an awesome plane, it really is. And no complaints whatsoever. However, actually, no, that's a lie. There is one complaint, and it's when I'm trying to target down on people. What happens is that, and it's kind of hard to actually explain this if you've never used this plane before. Um, it's sort of like when you're trying to aim down at somebody, because the way that this plane has is actually made, it's hard to lock down on someone. It's hard to adjust your sights on top of them, and it's just it's it's hard to describe. You have to sort of you spin on your axes almost. It's very weird. You have to try it for yourself to understand what I'm saying. Anyway, we'll kill the Aero Cobra over here. Easy. ME410 tried to land, he crashed. It's a rather darkish day over here in Stalingrad. The enemy team, where the hell are they? I think they're defending their bombs, or their uh, ground targets for some reason. Oh! Hello behind me. Hello people everywhere. Let's go for that B5N2. He might be a bit pesky to shoot down, but if I can hit his pilot right now... Oh. Oh, look, he's flying from the side. Ooh, turn, 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 turn. Already three kill assists. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that this plane and its wonkiness can be the end of it. Like, look at this dude over here shooting at me. Oh, my gosh. I'm just a target waiting to die. I'm a target waiting to die. Uh, I'm sorry, by the way, that I'm not showing my hot virtual keyboard, my virtual keyboard in the bottom of the screen. I, this is actually the third time, believe it or not, that I'm recording this episode. Uh, and the reason is, oh my god, we're dead. And the reason is, is because I tried using the software that allows me to show the keyboard at the bottom. Uh, but after doing it an twice, I noticed that my microphone was intermittently breaking off. So I'll have to fix that for a future episode where I can use that virtual keyboard again. I, I just need to f troubleshoot what the problem is, so... In the meantime, I can't show you guys what it is, and I know a number of you are asking, please, Krebs, you know, we, you're, the tutorial did yesterday, how to get enemies off your tail is very useful, however, we'd like to see your controls on how you do it. Um, and I would totally do it if I could, if there wasn't any problems. But in the meantime, what I could recommend is I've got a few episodes uh, if you just go on back, I, I can't remember what they're called, what the episodes were, but I did use the hot, the virtual keyboard in it, and I go through my thinking and stuff like that, and I, uh, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, that's the bullfighter down. The thing about the 50 cows that I feel, anyway, is that they're more like sustained damage over time, rather than, say, okay, 20 millimeter counter. 20 millimeter cannons are like finishing sort of weaponry, and same with 37 millimeter. Those are just, those just kill planes like instantly. Whereas these uh, machine guns are like sustained damage over time. They're going to be doing criticals and stuff like that. And I think it's particularly important that you get those criticals. So when you're damaging the fuselage and stuff like that, that's going to be important. Oh shit! Let's turn around on this dude over here. Uh, he's not gonna. Yeah, he's not turning around, but he is so screwed now. Look at where he's ended up. In the heart of the lion's den. Lead the shots. See how I'm leading the shots? I'm not aiming specifically at that rectacle, and the reason is, is because the rectacle is a lie. Just how, like, the cake is a lie. By the way, if you don't know, if you shoot the pilot, uh, whilst the plane is destroyed, like that, you can end up getting a kill assist. So it can get you a few extra points. But uh, I was going to say, for the rectacle, don't ever aim exactly where the rectacle is unless they're straight on in front of you. And the reason being is... Oh god, they just got wrecked. 
Because the reticle is a lie. Um, it doesn't tell you exactly where the planes are. It's what it, what it bases it on is where it's currently at, and the plane is constantly changing changing speed, direction, and you have to adjust accordingly to that. So right now I'm gonna have to aim a little bit in front of this plane just because of what he's doing, uh, and something you're gonna have to learn from experience figuring out where to aim so I'm gonna look behind me nobody behind I'm not gonna cap the airfields and that's because I want to drag out the game I want to prolong it uh, so I can get the most kills possible so we've had a decent match oh the only bad thing is look at that oh gosh that's a horde that's a horde of planes or uh, sorry ground targets coming at the airfield and once they're on the airfield we can't cap it anymore Critical. Come on. See, you're good at doing sustained damage, but you're bad at finishing planes off. See? That's the thing. With American planes, you're going to be getting kill assists all the time. Uh, you really have to hope for pilot kills, for tail control, fuselage damage, and then finishing them off like that. That's the sort of stuff that you're going to have to hope for. There we go. Pilot kill. Now this one. Come on, pilot kill. There we go. And let's turn on this dude. Yeah, and generally speaking, I guess you could say what I'm doing is I'm kind of behind my teammates. Notice how I'm probably not the first person that these uh, enemies can attack. Oh shit. Just as I'm starting to say that. <laughs> Getting attacked. Where'd he go? Worst thing to happen is to lose sight of your enemy. That really is the worst thing that can happen. Okay. Two enemies right here. Oh my gosh. This could be epic. Oh, we're reloading. Damn it. We'll let the Spitfire go since he turns pretty well. Much better than I can. And that's a kill assist. So we're on five kill assists right now. FML, FML. Spitfire over here. We're going to go in suicide mode. Suicide mode is when you're basically so damaged that you start doing really stupid stuff. Uh, like going straight on head-ons into enemies and stuff like that. But, uh, oh sugar, this is not good. I think the tanks are, oh my god. Okay, if we want to win this, so we're going to have to cap their airfield in very, very, whoa, quick. Uh, he's going down. Kill assist again. Kill Look. Kill assist times seven. Wow. Ah, this dude's gonna keep turning. Or, sorry, I uh, keep going forward. Where's my team? Where are you guys? I need you. Ow. Oh my gosh. Luckily, we, uh. One of my guys. Uh, bless him, I guess you could say. He sacrificed himself to land before the uh, ground targets got there. So that's that plane. What plane are we going to go out with next? Let's go out with a finisher plane like the Eric Cobra. People are messaging me with challenges apparently. This dude over here has got 9 kills. Damn it, he's my competition. He is my competition, isn't he? Down there, below. I like this though. I like when there's uh, nobody's gaining or losing points. Where's our ground targets? Oh fuck, we don't have ground targets. Either. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, we don't have ground targets. I think maybe they were all bombed or something. I don't know. Oh, returning or what are you doing? Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Spitfire, come on, you're next, dude. Aero Cobra is such a nice thing because usually when you hit these planes, they just die. Oh man, that might have been a finishing kill if I got that before he died. They really are nice planes. Uh, surprisingly, one really, really nice feature of the Aero Cobra is, uh, I mean, you know, the cannon's nice, but one nice thing that I didn't actually know and I found out about recently was, uh, one of my climates actually told me this, was the fact that it has an awesome, awesome climb. 
uh, climb rate. Look at this. Watch as we're going to climb very rapidly here. It barely loses any speed. So one of the nice things about it, this plane, is... Uh, let me kill this guy and I'll keep on explaining. Shit. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll go kill that Spitfire. Uh, one of the nice things about it is the plane doesn't have the best of speeds. It's, you know, not maybe... Oh, it's okay at turning, but it's not the best. Um, fuck. But uh, you can get a lot of speed by simply gaining altitude and then falling down on your opponent. There we go. Spitfire. Time for you to die, dude. What are you going to do? Are you going to turn the other way? He doesn't have much speed because he just took off. Yeah, I am... I am dogfighting Spitfire. You can hella believe that. Landing flaps for the win. Ta-da! Whoop, whoop! Is there somebody behind us? No, there isn't. Okay. Alright. I'm not gonna cap the air... Whatever, I'm gonna cap it. Just because there's nobody here and... Why not, I guess. And plus we're capping our other airfield. And plus I want to win. Here we go. Cap, 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 cap. Thank you. And... Ta-da! See, what's really nice and something that people have to learn in this game is how to be a versatile player. And to be versatile, you have to be good at killing, you have to be good at destroying ground targets, which isn't hard. I mean, what's so hard about hitting stationary targets or something that's not going to fight back? Uh, but also another very important thing is being able to cap. And I would highly, highly recommend learning the Krebs landing. I've got videos on it. On how to, on how to land at a fast speed. It's very, very crucial. We'll save you many games. Okay, so we didn't get the most kills, uh, but we came top of the leaderboard, and that's because of all those kill assists. I think we got a ridiculous amount, like probably 10 kill assists. Uh, and it goes to show you that you can do very well in the Americans. You can do very well. Fair enough, you need a, you know, uh, having a high-ranked plane, upgraded plane is going to help a lot. Having trained crews is going to help a lot. Shit, I didn't check how many... <laughs> oh no, I didn't check how many assists we had. You guys probably have to go back to see how many assists we had. Um, but I should probably mention it. All my crews are highly ranked, and... It's due in part to accelerated training, if I go to accelerated training. A long time ago when I first started this game, I just bought this package, 1,000 Golden Eagles, 17,500 XP. Uh, and yeah, that added up to a lot. However, also it's a big accumulation of look how much hours I have, like, you know, 200 and something. Like, that's probably like 300 hours of War Thunder I've got uh, accumulated. So that's a lot of time played, and that adds up to a lot of uh, XP uh, on your on your cruise as well so so yeah anyway let's uh, jump on into another game I'm gonna take off this XP 55 because I think you guys probably want to see more you know normal plane action and not some premium planes you want to see stuff that you have access to and this will also be beneficial because it lowers the tier a bit, so we don't have to come against like BF-109, F4s and stuff like that. So yeah, let's jump on into another one, and now we're in the 6 and 7 bracket. So the brackets will always start off with an even number. Here we go, we're on port. So this is the new port, it used to be just the harbor itself, but now they've extended it. And I think I actually, I don't know, before you could get some awesome kill streaks if people were destroying ground targets just because there's a massive clusterfuck. It was a massive furball. Uh, now, it's more like it's not as mass as big of a cluster, <laughs> clusterfuck, but uh, the ground targets are more separated, sort of thing. So, the first plane we'll go out with is the F4UA1A, our, one of our highest tier planes. And then we might give, like, the Wildcats a shot. Those planes can be really strange to play and uh, in a bad way. Because they're so... They're very, they're very, like, fat planes, the Wildcats. They have such trouble maneuvering, turning, leading targets at fast speeds. They're, they're kind of atrocious, to be honest. Um, but you can make some success out of them. 
we'll give it a shot. So this is the teams looking at the uh, leaderboard. No enemy clans to be worried of. No squadrons, squads hopefully to be worried of. Yeah, so nothing really stands out. Hopefully the game will be alright then. Okay, so we're going to gain as much altitude as possible. We'll drop down on people in front of us. Not going to pick targets yet. Not, I'm not going to bother the Hellcat. I think I'm going to bother with one of these guys who are more closer to me. So I'm seeing a number of targets like lag. He's not going to bother me. However, the F6F is looking a bit tempting. And actually, the lag is looking even more tempting now. Because he's at my level, he might be more of a nuisance. Yeah. Okay, so he's not going to engage on me, so that's perfect. I'm going to turn around on him, and here we go. Okay, he's not turning as much as I thought he would be. Aim a bit in front, aim a bit in front, critical hit on the left wing. Start slowing down, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. And I can still see him a little bit. Is he crashing because of me? I don't know, he's not even crashing, he's, he's lying. I think that somebody might be shooting behind me. Can't really tell. Come on, turn down that throttle, Krebsy. Is there somebody behind me right now? I can't even tell. I really can't. No, don't kill the lag! He's mine! Come on, just a bit in front. Just a little bit. No, it's a kill assist, apparently. Took out his rudder. Whatever. Just throw those away. Throw those away. Put those in the back of your head. And just... Forget about it. Nothing you could do about that. Yak 1 starting to run out of ammo here. Come on. Nice. Good kill. Gonna start turning around. Start flying in the opposite direction of my enemy so hopefully they're not gonna chase me down. But I see that there are opponents coming after me. What the hell are you? A hawk. No! No! He got me! Come on, crash into me, dude. Crash. Crash. Go. I'll slow down. Oh. Oh. He's not going to crash into me, is he? Those hawks are surprisingly good. I, I've barely leveled them up, but I've noticed that they were so maneuverable. I think they're like sort of like the A6M2s. Like, they've got a really poor roll rate, but... Uh, I think I'm saying this right. They've got a really poor roll rate, but uh, they're very, like, good at turning. Sort of thing. Okay, so my wildcat dropped the bombs because I don't need him. So this is the plane that I was talking about that I'm not too fond of. But yeah, we're trying to make the most of it. I think it's quite a beefy plane. Like, it could take quite a bit of damage. But then again, you don't want to take any damage at all. I mean, who wants to take damage? Damage is the last thing that you want. We're at one kill right now. Should have been two because of that lag. And we'll go for the A6M2. I have a feeling he's gonna be a nuisance for that Kai 49. Here we go. And look at that wonky wonkiness in the plane. Look at it. It's just so rubbish at to maneuvering. If this Ryzen had some more common sense of like where what he should be doing, like going after me. Turn! Turn, bitch, turn! <laughs> It's just like, look at this! I don't know what to do. There we go. <laughs> just would not, like, the rudder wouldn't just not do anything that I wanted it to do. Ah, run out. Didn't, didn't line up the shot perfectly enough for a pilot kill. Almost run out of ammo as well. I'm gonna keep trying to go for his bow fighter. He's taking out our landing craft over here. Nuisance fighter. That's what he is. Come on, faster, Wildcat, faster, please, please, please. I need to take out this bullfighter. I think he's run out of ammo. He's not destroying the rest of those landing craft. Just gonna aim to the side a little bit here, and now he is turning. He is turning. 
turn, 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 bullfighter, turn. And we're gonna come down on top of them. Oh, wow! Wow, that was like an action movie. Oh my god, it's a... It's that... It's that bitch again. <laughs> no! I'm not in the mood. Hawk? The Hawk has an amazing turn time. He's gonna... I'm just hoping his engine isn't as good. Oh god, it looks like it is as better than mine. His turn time is better. His engine looks to be better. So what advantage do I have over him? I don't. I need a teammate to save me from this. Unless I can hammerhead him right now. Here we go, we need to hammerhead him. Oh, fuck my life. Come on, guys. I need help taking this guy out. I, is this, like, the th same guy as last time? No. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. He's, he's got a better plane than mine. It's an American plane as well. It's just better than mine. I'm just throwing him everything. If you're wondering what, how I'm doing this right now, like, looking at him, it's because I'm holding C down. Yeah, I just gave him, I just gave him the hardest opportunity to try and get a kill. I gave him no opportunity to try and get kill me, and rightfully so. I didn't want him to kill me, obviously. Okay, what's going on down? Beaufort over there, F4U in front of me. Probably the F4U, I imagine we'll go for. Whew, the Wildcats still managed to keep together though. And not get outclassed by that hawk. I mean, he was outclassing me, to be fair. What am I on about? He was outclassing me. But luckily for me, my teammates came eventually to support me. So this plane doesn't seem to have a lot of ammo, does it? Oh, shit. Aisle 2. Woo! At least he started turning. If he kept coming for me, I think he would have gotten me. Okay, Havoc. These things are impossible to destroy sometimes. All I'm hoping for is a pilot kill. Uh, when you're aiming for attackers, aim for those engines. See, I'm aiming for his engine on the left, and lo and behold, it catches on fire. If I keep aiming for it, his engine, his wing will break off, because that engine is like the critical portion of his, uh, of that wing part. Come on. How much more damage do you want? Getting a lot of XP from this, though, on the bright side. Is he gonna kamikaze? Wow, I think I set him on fire again there. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like watching Pearl Harbor, isn't it? Come on. Woo! Okay, bull fort. Let's do the tango, dude. Let's see if we can set him on fire. Knocked out his gunner. Nah, we're too slow. Too slow, this plane is too slow. E3, come on, dude. What do you do? Dango. Now. There we go. Nice. Wildcats on the beast mode. Where? Where do you need cover? I don't. I can't see you, dude. I don't know where he's. What is he on about? I don't know where you are. It points out the map, but then again, you can't see like on the map. Like you have to go to the tactical map to actually find the coordinates. Like, I mean, who's gonna do that? VR's doing that. Takes too much time. Look at that guy, he just crashed. Nice. F, F6F. F We can do... Blah, 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 blah. Tail control, you're down. Yay! Oh, turn, 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 turn. We need these kills. Time is of the essence. Time is not money. Time is kills. Nice. And now are we gonna do a loop-de-loop? -loop? It seems like this plane does really good, uh... Loop-de-loops. Or what do they call them? High yo-yos. Seems like this plane is particularly good at doing those. Probably recommend it more so using doing that in this plane than in any other plane. That's his tail control out. I hope this, my teammate doesn't crash into me. Holy shit, trees! Okay, so we're 9 for 1. Leading by four kills right now. I don't want bombs. 
Go away. I'm trying to prolong the game as long as possible. Get as many kills as I can. Hellcat. Bring it on, dude. You're on fire. Boom, 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 boom. The power of stealth ammo is strong. This is why you should use stealth ammo. The highest damage outputs. Do, 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 do. P39? Or Spitfire? Probably the P39. He's by himself. Over here, so if my teammate doesn't kill him, then I'll get it. What's my teammate flying? A hurricane. P39 should be able to out outclass a hurricane in turn fight. But if he can't do that, he's probably just not that much of a skilled pilot. And look, well, he's just going for the ground targets. Maybe he's given up and he's just like, ah, I'm just gonna go for ground targets. Alright. Don't blame you. There we go. That's a kill steal. Pilot knockout. Do, 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 do. Feel kind of sorry for that guy. He was doing a massive dogfight with that guy for absolutely ages, and then here comes Krebsy with the kill steal. Uh, GU87, GU87, lag three. Okay, lag. Let's bring it on. You're chasing after one of my dudes, and now I'm going to put the pain down into. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put the pain down into you. Uh, Stuka on our fleet. That guy actually brings up a very valid point. Stuka is on our fleet. Fuck. Uh, what I'll probably do is, as soon as this lag is dead, I'll go over to where the Stukas are. Oh man, the maneuverability on this plane can be such a problem. You gotta do these high yo-yos to get any sort of hope in hell of getting back on somebody but whenever those targets like that guy just coming down straight under me really fast it's hard to lead on of this plane because it just doesn't want to just doesn't want to adjust too much with the rudder onto the target it doesn't want to follow it so well anyway so let's go over to where the JU-87s are we're gonna have to take them out because they're dedicated bombers to taking out our ships and I don't want to lose. I'm not in the mood to lose. Look at him go, that dive bomber. Stuka. Yeah. Enemies attacking our base. What are you on about? Oh my god! IO-4 is almost taking out our base. Incredible. This is quite a low tier match. Didn't think he'd be able to do it. Anyway, G87, we're gonna take this guy out. Look how slow. The JU-87s are. I love killing these things because they're actually just like killing puppies. Like, okay, okay, that sounds kind of sadistic, but they're so slow. They have such bad speed retention. They just die instantly. Like, look at that. Like, the guy stood no chance. He had he did damage my engine though, so I'm gonna be going down. I'm not gonna be able to get back to base. Suicide mode? Anyone? Or am I not gonna have time to suicide? Uh, we'll try to take out the Havoc. Come on, tail control or something, pilot kill. No. I'm hoping a bit too much. <laughs> Behind me, not much. Our ships are taking a beating, like, look at that guy. Imagine being the crew member on that ship. Fuck that. Uh, 1 for 12. When's this game gonna end? When is my engine gonna die, actually? That's all I wanna know. Have it coming straight on. Come on, kill me. Kill me. Kill me, I dare you. Please, kill me. <laughs> my plane wants to die so badly. Please. Give it what it asks. Ah, oh, took out his gunner. <laughs> Not good enough. I think he's gonna crash. Oh! Oh! It was a kill assist. Now we've got even more guys coming in. They're going crazy. They're going absolutely crazy here. Come on, let's set you on fire. Ah, oh, don't have enough space to move my mouse. Oh, oh, this is the last like defense of our ships. We're just trying to defend them as best as possible. This engine is not going out, is it? I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. Can this plane survive so many shots that 
Oh, our airbase is gone. Fuck. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, we lost. Whatever. Wow, I'm actually impressed by how long the engine survived on this plane. Maybe it's just this plane has great survivability. I guess you could say. So, uh, we didn't get to use every single plane, but, I mean, what's the point? All the other wildcats are near enough the same. They're lower tier. But, uh, yeah, we came out 12 for 1. So, if you don't believe me that the Americans can't be good, then I honestly don't know what else I should do. Like, I mean, is that not proof enough? So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Krebsy Poo, and I love you all. Bye-bye.